Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we have our preview for In Sound Mind, a psychological horror game coming to console and PC this September. It's spooky stuff and there are some chilling scenes in this video, so be warned. Now let's have a look. In Sound Mind is about a psychologist named Desmond Wales and his apparent mental breakdown. This preview is going to be about me and my mental breakdown trying to play through the opening hour of the game. Honestly, by the time I noped out, my body was aching from being tensed up for so long. Walking through an abandoned supermarket where something horrific had happened in the past, I happened upon a great big mirror in one of the aisles, so with nothing else on the agenda, I walked towards it. I wish I hadn't. Looking at the mirror, I could see something purple glowing far behind me, and then it sped up and crashed through the mirror, smashing it to pieces. The goosebumps were back again, but now I had a mirror, and a sharp object. Elsewhere in the game, I'd come across some barriers that I couldn't get through because they either needed to be broken or cut. Desmond can't seem to bring himself to pull down the police tape or kick the weak-looking wooden beams. And that's fine, it's a video game, I get it. But I did waste a lot of time looking for a sharp object where there wasn't one. Annoying! Using the piece of mirror in the supermarket, I could cut down the police tape and move through to different areas of the store and solve more of the game's simple but clever puzzles. There was one involving scanning items at a checkout that I thought was really well done. I could also hold up the mirror to look behind me. I tried it out and I wish I hadn't. In Sound Mind does not seem to be too big on the jump scares. I didn't come across any with the preview demo. Instead, it pokes your brain with creepy imagery. Holding up the mirror, I could see the fuzzy outlines of something or someone. There were a few, actually, and I wondered if they could be the store's display mannequins that I'd walked past earlier. I could also read, and I kid you not, I got goose pimples writing this and I'm getting them again when I'm saying it, but I could also see the desperate pleas of the spirit woman on the store's display units. This is the kind of horror I really like. The stuff that creeps in on you rather than being smashed into your face. It takes skill to pull off this style of horror, and I'm confident that the developer has done a great job, at least from what I've seen so far. Desmond seems to be losing his mind. The game begins with you in a residential building where Desmond lives and works. His home and his office are on the top floor, but it took some puzzle solving to get there. Not much, mind you, but a little. The puzzles were not too hard. In fact, they were guided, and I felt like the game wanted me to progress rather than get stuck trying to figure something out. Desmond's patients are also victims, but are they his victims? Or is Desmond somehow theirs? I don't know. The small taste of the game that I've had throws up many questions. Why is the building dilapidated? Who is the creepy guy on the phone? Is this all a dream? A nightmare? Or Desmond's dying moments after putting a pistol to his temple? I don't know, but I really want to know. But I also want to go through the game with my partner on the sofa so that I'm not sat at my desk having to go it alone. I'll leave the rest for the full release in September. And that is the end of this preview. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, go on down below, drop a comment, like, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss a video. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.